get it set up so that we can hang the mics rather than have them sit in front of us because I don't like them sitting in front of us either. It worked fine when we were using the old mics because they needed to be directly, you know, directed at us, but they definitely work better, um, you know, facing downwards. Yeah. I mean, it, it is set up still. It still works, and I like it more than I thought I would. Um, but having more room like, yeah, to no. maneuver, that would be cool. What I love is um, there was this setup I saw, and it's like a, it's a full radio station, which was fucking cool, where they had their mics... They were, like, in a central big giant box in the center of the room. And then each one had its own arm thing that came down to right. all the different seats at the table. Right. Uh, that was fucking awesome. I mean, we can we can do it the way we currently have it set, actually. But, you know, yeah. lazy and stuff. No, yeah, I'm totally, like, not going to I got, yeah, see, I, I do all the work, and it's like, I don't want to do this anything. This isn't a studio either, so. I mean, it's a studio. It's. It's, it's we a, use it as a studio. Yeah, okay, but you it's know, not like it's it, not for like all, a studio, studio. For all intents and purposes, it is a studio. Okay, even though That's my security like system sharing. sees it as an office, it's still a studio. <laughs> was there no option for studio on the? Uh... No, nope. It was bedroom and office, and I'm like, well, it's it's a bedroom, sure, but uh, it doesn't really convert make... it into an office. Yeah, mm -hmm. so um, office was the closest thing. Majority of this, I'm not sure what it's called. But it might have a little uh, white rhino and I think Tangi OG in it. All right, well, get a little closer to the mic. Is it a little more sensitive now? No, it's yeah. just you were leaning all the way back. Yeah. Oh, my bad. It at least got to kind of be within its range. So how are you guys doing today? Doing all right. Yeah, I'm doing okay. <clears throat> we're doing uh, happy. happy. We're trying to be. Happy Why does my... Sleepy. Uh, yeah, we, uh, I just got off work, and these fuckers have, uh, not, so, you know, whatever. But we got our buddy Matt in the studio today, um, we're the Ungodly Geeks, I'm Joe. I'm Luke. And I'm Matt. He's our special guest, because, uh, well, why not? You know, we gotta have some people on that are, you know, whatever. And, uh, I think one of the things that when we first started, you know, talking and shit, that we mentioned was a mutual love for uh, Super Troopers. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. The movie, the movie is amazing and it holds up so, so very well. It's a great, great stoner flick. It is seventeen years. I mean, that's a long time. Yeah, oh yeah, totally. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and I guess, I mean, I, I think you could. You're not wrong calling it an indie comedy. Oh yeah, no, I mean, I mean, that's kind of what it was. Like, uh, what I, I can't. What studio backed them anyway? Broken Lizard. Okay, well. so so they they backed themselves. Was that a studio? I mean, that was the Broken that, Lizards. There, that's their group. That's visual. who they are. Okay, right? uh, Miramax. I mean, I guess we Miramax probably them. bought the rights to the distribution. That's the way when you, indie movies get made and then they get out. Yeah, Miramax is pretty good for that. Like that. That's in fact that's the point of a joke in uh, what is that? Uh, Clerks and Jane Silent Bob Strike Back mm. and stuff like they make they make that a big joke. Not Clerks, but Jane and Bob for sure. But Miramax did do Kevin Smith movies, right? Yeah, yeah no, like he he they, something they, that he both they likes they uh, and regrets because they sort that's of also, funded it. Yeah, uh, what's his name? Harvey Weinstein. Well, yeah, which nobody wants to be attached Ooh. to that kind of a jackass. Mm -hmm. Like seriously, and I can you know completely understand that because, I mean seriously, uh, that actually reminds me, um, somebody on Reddit linked a video from a few years ago. It was a. Um, Award ceremony, I think the Oscars, where Seth MacFarlane. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he he names like these five women who were nominated. He says, "Congratulations, you five women no longer have to pretend to be attracted to Harvey Weinstein." Yeah. Yikes. Well, Seth MacFarlane, yeah. like it, that was always a Hollywood rumor, and he was one of the few people that would make like public jokes about it. They did one in Family Guy about uh, escaping from, uh, Stewie escaping from Kevin Spacey's basement. Yeah, no, I, I I remember that, and it's just like back then. I what? What are you talking about? Is mm -hmm. Kevin Spacey known to rape little boys or something? And apparently, yes, Kevin Spacey is known I was to like, rape oh, little boys. Making him sound gay, ha ha ha. Yeah, no, like because that's the kind of humor you have when that came out because mm -hmm. we were stupid, and it's not like like yeah. And, and now you look at it, it's like holy shit, that gets a whole lot darker because of what has happened with him and that that uh, oh. A couple, a, a number of people. Like Specifically I, that uh, guy who, you know, when he was 14, yeah, yeah, horrible, yeah. Yeah. Forgive us for, for not knowing. There's been a whole lot of, a, lo a lot of that kind of stuff coming out, and it's hard to keep track of it all. 
Yep. As try as try as I might, it's just it's impossible to keep One up thing with it. that did bother me about the news coverage of it all. Um God, this is a random fucking topic. But uh they they acted so surprised. I thought that was always like the joke of haha, if you want to make it anywhere in Hollywood, you're getting on your knees in front of somebody. Oh yeah, the like, casting not, couch. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like, mean that's that's always been a joke and they're like, oh, I can't believe it's true. Are you really? Like, I mean there's an entire genre of porn. Like, dedicate it to it. And if there's truth anywhere, there's truth in porn. <laughs> exactly. Come on, guys. Get get your shit together. Get your program. Like, this one just fell apart. <laughs> <laughs> it, just, it, just, it just fell apart at the end. But, just uh, shake it out into a bowl or something later. Yeah. But, yeah, no, it was just like, what are you, what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, was kind of crazy the way they took it. Yeah, I like. How can you be surprised though? Like, like I'm sure that even some of them to get to the positions they're in have been on their knees once or twice. You know, like, like it's a sad reality. I mean, it's 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 not a yeah like an acceptable thing whatsoever. And I'm no glad, no you that know, things are changing in Hollywood. Yeah, no, the Me Too movement uh, has has been amazing, and I fully support it. Like, yeah, yeah. get the fuck out the, there, expose these assholes, yeah. take them from, take away things they don't deserve. Yeah, I like that aspect of it. I think that they tried to turn it into a giant witch hunt. Yeah, and we're going like like Aziz, when the chick went after him. Yeah, when they dated, and, and he like, just he dumped her or something. No, he he wanted to have sex, and she apparently wanted oh, to. Oh yeah, no, I remember that. Yeah, I, I it's like they they went on a date. It wasn't like yeah, he didn't fucking corner her in a fucking hallway bathroom. Okay, but let's be honest here. What guy going out with a woman does not want to have sex? Exactly. Like, I don't care how, you know, religious or whatever you are, you want to have sex. There's I mean, no, that's, that's, let's be real. that's the end goal. Like, it was like this... that is the point of life, to create more life, and how do you create more life? Yeah. It was this crazy thing where she tried and, like, and then when everyone got the full story after, after you know, oh, Aziz, uh, coming for you, and it was like, oh, that's that's not what any of this is about, you stupid cunt. Yeah, like like that's that's not at all what this is. Yeah. What we're talking about is is inappropriate, is is wrong, is immoral, <laughs> violating. You know, like it's, it's it's not you just no. I don't I don't want to trivialize it, but uh, Bill Burr had this fucking great joke where he said, uh, "Where the fuck were you?" Or, or we, uh, you know, we in California. He's he lives out there. He's like, you know, we were here. For you guys, when you had all this flooding and your tornadoes and shit, you get every fucking weekend. But where were you when the Me Too movement was ravaging through my place? <laughs> I was like, holy fuck. Oh, wow. Oh, man. That's so how many people did he trigger greatest. with that one? You know? Oh, God, I'm sure. There was this lady, ah, feminists behind me, <laughs> like the drunk bitch. Oh, I'm wow. just like, oh, God. I was waiting for her to like be going off. And somebody tell her to shut the fuck up, but she didn't. She actually ended up just being laughing loud. I mean, <laughs> Bill Burr's funny, dude. Yeah. Anyway, Bill Burr's great. let's get back on topic because Matt looks lost. <laughs> I'm just I'm listening. Yeah. <laughs> um, we wanted to talk a little bit about Super Troopers, right? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, this movie, 17 years old, uh, and they finally made a sequel. And yep. Kickstarted it. Kickstarted it. Yeah, five point five four million or something like that. Really, I did not know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's entirely funded by the Kickstarter, from what I understand. There's no like outside funding. There's no studio. It's just all of them. And they had a lot of like a lot of. Was it GoFundMe or was it Indiegogo or was it Kickstarter? I, I they're all the fucking same. To yeah, me. I, mean, I don't give a shit. There's like thirty million crowdfunding platforms yeah. out there, and they are all literally like whatever. Ninety nine point nine percent of the stuff on there is bullshit and garbage. Yeah, including the games, including okay. every single product. Okay. Anyway, but, let's get back yeah. on topic. <laughs> it's one of the only good things. No, no, hold on, Super Kick, Kickstarters. Too. Now, does that take away from the quality of the film? Because I can remember uh-huh. Blue Mountain State was a good TV show. I can't remember if you were one of the people that introduced me to it on yeah, Netflix. Yeah, it might have been. Yeah, you know what was it? Three seasons. You know, got canceled. They still haven't released season three on DVD for whatever reason. Right. But you know, they talked about a movie for a long time, and it's like, okay, that would be great. I guess if they're going to wrap it up, you know, everybody involved wants to do it. They kickstarted it or whatever, and it was shit. 
And I remember yeah. I didn't offer any money to it because a lot of the shit, you know, it's like, oh, you'll get an autograph poster for like, you know, three, four hundred dollars yeah. or whatever, you know, jersey and all shit. And I'm like, there's not one thing fucking worth of donating to, mm-hmm. like nothing at all. And, and I get into that shit with Super Troopers too because okay. they had different le- levels too. But yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. I didn't even watch all of season two. Um, I liked that show. It, I mean, ultimately, it's fine, but it does not live up to the show. Uh, okay. The show. Sets a very, very high bar because it's one of those things that it's good throughout the entire yeah. series. It's always funny. It's always, you know, keeping itself fresh. You know, every episode, like, I'm sure Matt will agree with me. Every episode you watch, you're like, okay, how are they going to top the last episode? Mm-hmm. And then they do. And so, you know, it's one of those things where the TV show sets this really high bar and then they, they go to wrap up and end the, end the series, wrap up story with a movie, and it's like down. Yeah, it, it's it's one of those things where I kind of think when you're going through quality, budget, right, like everything about something, a product, Yeah. Um, obviously movies generally on top because of the budget, Yeah. because of how much money they can spend on a quality product. Then you come down and you'd be like TV shows, mm-hmm. and that's where they are because their special effects are not great. They don't yeah. look good. But you still have some talent, some money is coming in. And then below that, just below that is like indie movies. Where right. you can have those darling movies that are just perfect, like um, fucking Clerks and these other movies that use a small budget and yeah. make a really great story. Well, I mean, we'll always wonder about, you know, like Mrs. Doubtfire too. you know, unfortunately. Will we? But, well, I mean, he's gone, but... Oh, okay, well, but, yeah, 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 yeah. But, but let's but, think I mean, about other like, movies I mean, that had a distance between sequels, like you know, Dumb and Dumber. Oh. I mean, they had they had the pe- the okay, well, prequel sequel. Okay, I see what happened. Yeah, yeah. we changed no, no, the topic, about... but there was no you indication to... <laughs> of us changing a topic. Okay, no, no, I'm talking about budget wise. When you look at not 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 just the crowdfunding sequels. I mean that they that. I mean, that's what the, studio the did Dumb and Dumber two or whatever they called it? I mean, it was well because they. When they do that kind of garbage, when they trust try and it's a money, it's like just yeah, no, that's one hundred percent a cash grab. It, it looks yeah. like shit. They look like shit. Yeah. They look I mean, older. I mean, I know it's been a while, but like to me, Super Troopers two, the trailer, mm. it almost looks like the first movie. I mean, well, the in camera that, work. The difference something. is they care about it. The guys who did Dumb and Dumber two, they didn't give a shit. Well, I mean, no, a lot of me? movies anymore yeah. to me, they look different. For I mean, some reason, yeah. like if you know you're flipping channels and you see a soap opera on TV, you know it's a soap opera because they all look alike. Yeah. You know what I mean? The camera work, yeah, the, the yeah, sound, they all have that. They all the have that, they that film over it too. Yeah, like, I mean like it's like okay, soap opera. That filter. Mm-hmm. That's what they they have a filter. I I, I think part of that. That you're talking about well, movies just look different. Like Joe Dirt, the sequel looked like shit too. Again, it's all about not caring. No, that's what. And yeah, that's, that's, that's the okay. point. I mean, I'm but I have to high you. hopes for this. I mean, oh, yeah, I was yeah. like 11 years old when the first one came out. You know, my dad took me to see it. But you this know, is I kind of like indie... worry. I'm excited, but I'm worried. Yeah, I'm not saying all indie movies I was are bad. 15. You get good ones. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little older than you. I was like, God. Um, you get you get good indie movies, and I think it depends on how much they care. These guys are an indie studio. Like you said, like they made beer, uh, beer fest, which they was made, pretty fun. The first super beer fest was they fun. made. They, there's like one or two other. Well, movies most of the made. actors they made a few movies together, right? Yeah, yeah. They, oh yeah, they, no, they're like, all a part like, of the same. Like they're a team. What like Broken there? Lizard is Broken a team. Broken Lizard is. But uh, well, I yeah, they did beer fest. fest, Club Dread. Yeah, wasn't there like one more? I think so. What was Hot Fuzz? That wasn't. No, no, that's Simon Pegg, Nick Frost. That's British, which is still really good, really good play. But uh, yes, yeah, that's the point. Like you got to go from like like you you can't lump this in with the cash grabs. Like Joe Dirt two total cash grab. It's like there's always a movie out there. There's Joe Dirt. Let's let's do a sequel. So it's, peop- n- it's, it's nostalgia. nostalgia. Yeah, nostalgia makes money right now. Yeah. So that whatever they could do has been for however a few fast. Years. They were going to put it out. Yes, it depends on what it is. Yeah, I but, mean, yeah. And like it, those twenty dollars Power Ranger action figures that look like the ones from you know twenty five years ago. Exactly. That were like you know the, not, maybe my, not even immediately. 10 bucks. I mean, my first thought was, I want to buy those. Yeah. They're yeah. after taking a second to look at them. They're garbage. Yep. yep. But it's all about the authentics are probably at like Trader's World. Like I saw those a yeah. year or two. Like ago. my original toys were better quality. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, like you sit there and you look at some of like, like even some of the uh, what is that? Um, the Transformers and stuff today. They look really cool and intricate, but like quality wise, compared sh- to the eighties, it was more. Durable. Yeah, like you, you sit there, you yeah. look at my shitty fucking like tra- like uh, Optimus Prime I had. I think it was way better built and and just nicer. 
I tell you what impressed me. I saw the new Jurassic World toys the other day, and there was a T Rex. Yeah. And it was just huge, like huge, huge, and looked authentic. I still go back to my T Rex from uh, the second. Do you? The first and second movies were fucking amazing. My old T Rex was. And then for Lost World, um, the T Rex. Like it made noise, just like the original one. Well, I had the one from it the Lost World. It cool. had a slit in its belly. It okay. could eat shit, though. Yeah, yeah. It, ate, it, like, it, a it would cage eat your thing, figures, and it would make like yeah. a crunch noise and all that. Yeah, mm-hmm. okay. That was cool. You eat the guy off the toilet. Yep. I mean, that was the first one, but still. Yeah, but uh, if the first T Rex had a lot more. Wasn't that wasn't the lawyer? Was that a lawyer? The lawyer? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Fuck that you know, guy. '90s toys. I still have a lot of my Star Wars figures, and they're in good shape. You know, weapons and everything, lightsabers. Yeah. But I wish I still had my Millennium Falcon. Yeah, I know that that would yeah. be. I know I had nice. that. I had an X wing and I had a Tie fighter. Nice, but I mean nice, those nice. things are huge. I mean it seems like they scaled them down nowadays for you know the yeah, sequel totally. movies. Well, yeah, you know you can still make something like that, but make it smaller so it uses less material, therefore costs less money, and still sell it for what you used to sell it for. Mm-hmm. And I didn't know the original run Kenner. I didn't know that was Cincinnati. Yeah, the, yeah, the Kenner company. Toys is Cincinnati. That, they uh, they the were documentary on Netflix, uh, toys and how they made us or whatever. Watching yeah. that yeah. episode one it was pretty good. Yeah, they used to be a toy company. I don't think they're around anymore. I think they no. were they were absorbed by uh, was it Hasbro? Hasbro or Mattel? I don't remember. Okay. And ha- yeah, they those are like D two toy companies, well, pretty much. Yeah. yeah, but technically they still make Star Wars toys today. Yeah, kind of like how you then know it's Hasbro for sure. Yeah, I, yeah, I think they're the only ones with the license besides Lego. Hey, whatever happened to GI Joe? He died. Uh, owned by Hasbro, and they can't make a movie to save their life. Well, I mean, they make the they've made the little figures for these, you know, couple movies. And right, I saw right. the first one, not the second one. But what happened to the dolls? If like you, I remember after nine eleven, go there was to, a ton of GI Joe dolls for like a oh, few years. Oh, I got years. into them. I got they they came back oh, heavy. Oh, yeah. I still I mean, have a giant. Even box in the nineties, there were dolls, and you know they continued yeah, the original yeah, line I'm, from the eighties. I don't know. I they just died, man. Like I. Like, they made the G.I. Joe movies, and they fucking flopped so hard. You've got to go to, like, Toys... Well, they're not around anymore. No, you Toys can't go to Toys R Us. I kind of thought that. But Walmart no. cut its toy area for action figures and stuff down to where, if you look, pretty much only the big TV shows and then the movie toys. Yeah, That's it. The, yeah, you got Power... Uh, but somehow Power Rangers <clears throat> is in there. Because the, it sells. Power Rangers still, they made... Uh, the movie made jack shit... But they saw an uptick of like forty five. Doesn't Minions still have like four toys? feet? I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah, something like I that. I think right? they do in uh, like the, the car aisle. I don't but uh, know. what I'm saying I mean, is, they just action figure wise, they cut all that stuff out. Yeah, like all the uh, the uh, GI Joes, they still make them. It's just they're not as big a selling toy because they don't have a name brand. There's not like yeah, they're just, you don't they're make just like Star Wars GI Joes. <laughs> Yeah, that would be weird. That would Transformers be, you know has even gotten smaller and smaller. Yeah, if, if you've noticed that. Yeah, no, they have. They're cut down to like a section and a half now. Yeah. Anyway, we're off topic again. We can do whatever fucking topic we want. <laughs> we don't come in and like, hey, we're going to talk about a thing and then go off about four other things and never touch yeah. that original well, thing. Like full that's, disclosure. I still have notes. the whole the whole plan for today is that we get together, we smoke a little tobacco. We start talking about Super Troopers 1, you know, how we started, you know, got into that movie. And then what we're actually going to do is pause the podcast, go watch Super Troopers 2, probably stuff our fat faces and come back, well, at least my fat face. Oh, yeah. And then no, come I mean, back and record a, like, second half. Like, we want to give you a review of Super Troopers 2 today, you know, tell you if we loved well, it, still hated fresh. it, whatever. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, like, I could have talked about Star Wars. So we Wars, can get one out within, like, a oh. week of the movie coming out? No, we we We, we usually, Star like, Wars. We usually oh, do. Like, I think we all got that. It was bad. I still haven't bought so, the DVD. You guys don't. That's, that's the don't. plan for today. You know what? I actually want to um, on on that topic, the Star Wars thing. Like we have that Star Wars display at work at the Last Jedi. I actually want to take the front part off that says the Last Jedi, and I just want to paint over the Last Jedi part and keep the Star Wars part. Because I still I, I I've come to terms with the fact that the movie is awful, mm-hmm. and while I continue I completely understand that we need to take the Star Wars in a different direction, you don't do that with a movie that makes zero fucking sense. No, that, that you display don't, looks one, better you than don't the cover have to of the DVD. Take everything about Star Wars away. Yeah, if you wanted to make better storylines. So, so what I want to do. So, I'm still a fan of Star Wars. I, I'm, oh, I'm still I do. Okay That's with Star Wars. why I want to so cover like, up the Star Wars part yeah. and just have it be the last 
and then cover up Jedi. No, I want to. And it co- can be a space movie called The Last, and it doesn't have to have anything to do with <laughs> Star Wars. And then I'm happy. Well, no, what I want to do though is I want to display the Star Wars part. Like I want to just take that one piece of the display. As long as you don't put that movie under it, that's fine. No, 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 and just like get some, <laughs> get some, get some really good, just some black paint or something, and just paint over the part that says The Last Jedi. And just have it Star Wars. It's the Star Wars logo because it looks nice. Oh, you mean just the box itself looks nice? Yeah, yeah. No, I don't. No, I don't see. Uh, you gotta no, put no, no. The other now, if we're gonna go that there. way, um, we yeah, we take everything. We strip all the Star Wars parts out of it, and it's just like you said. It's just or the Jedi. It could be a knockoff Star Wars movie. <laughs> the Jedi. <laughs> the Jedi. Yeah. <laughs> You know, change that E to like an O or something. The Jody. How about that? You know, we'll the do it Jody. that way. I was uh, honestly, the, because we're fucking off topic anyway. The our store, uh, Walmart's typically do very like depending on the market, they will do small uh, little things for movies, TV shows, and one thing they did a couple of years ago was we celebrated Star Wars Day, where uh, a bunch of new action figures came out. They had like they were handing out like fucking cupcakes. The to store people. manager's kid came in dressed like Darth Vader. Yeah, it was cute. It was, he was adorable. Like three. Uh, it was like they did this whole thing. We didn't. We haven't done that since then. Yeah, no, which I, pisses me off. It's it, a little bit. It hasn't mattered for our store. Is it May fourth is that Walmart. official? Yeah, okay. May fourth, Star Wars Day. Yeah, may the fourth be with you. Well, I exactly. know that. But... Surely you, you know, yeah, it's like, like... <laughs> call me Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> a giant metal plane. It's a giant metal box. No, what did you say? It's a big white building full of patients, <laughs> doctors. <laughs> yes, I'm serious. Man. Don't call me Shirley. Yes. You know, uh, yeah, anyway. I like uh, that. Storm that troopers, awesome. Super Troopers. Great movie. We're, you know. Storm Troopers. <laughs> hey. Troopers. That's a thing. That's an old, old fan film. Yeah. If you never get a chance, if you've never seen that, uh, I think it's just called Troopers, right? I don't know. Maybe. Um, these guys did a kind of they, – they, it's actually like cops, but they did a cops episode as stormtroopers oh, on Tatooine. Dude. It was so Wait, good. Wait, I think I have seen that. It's, it's old. On, like on it's YouTube. Classic. It's like yeah, from the oh, yeah. 90s, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, yeah. I, well, no, it's from the 2000s or very late 90s. I, I can't remember exactly, but the, it's not quite as 90s old. You know what that – you're sitting there talking about like – Although I could be very wrong. You actually reminded me of Retarded Policeman. <laughs> oh, man, that was a classic YouTube series. That was such a great series. Do you know about Retarded Policeman? No, but I just want to say Reno 911 always hated it. Yeah, I never liked Reno 911. I liked Reno 911. No, I, I could never get it. I liked, it tried, okay, it tried to be I, like cops, will, but it's fake. I, anyway, I will, well, I will that was say the point. I liked, I liked early Reno 911, but the movie was really good. Okay, basically what it was is Retarded Policeman, there's a Down Syndrome comedian dude. I can't remember his name for the life of me, but he's a really funny guy. And he got together with some friends of his and decided to start a series called Retarded Policeman where he posed as a police officer and would pull people over for the most ridiculous of shit. It was – oh, it was good. It's really, But he would really get good. early YouTube personalities, and I think there were a few celebrities on there as well. Oh, yeah. Philip DeFranco Philip was DeFranco on there. Philip DeFranco was on there. Yeah. Um, I know Bo – I think Bo Burnham was on there. No. Was that Bo not? No, okay. Bo, Bo wasn't on him as far as I can remember. Uh there were a couple, yeah, but, but he had D. different people. Um, yeah. uh, the the one dude who was, fuck, what was his name? He's a really flamboyant gay dude who did reviews of different, like like he did like TMZ type topics. Right. That dude yeah, was something. on there too. What? What the Buck? Buckman. Oh, that was yeah, the name yeah. of his channel. What the Buck was one what of the, the people Buckman, on there. Yeah. And it's it, it, he's the retarded policeman. It's just fucking funny. No, no, it was a really, it was a really lighthearted thing, and like everyone was. I, I remember there being a little bit of a controversy around because we're talking like two thousand eight. Yeah, so we're talking eventually with the rise ago. of the uh, political correctness. Yeah, they they started catching shit for being retarded policeman. Even though, that. even though it was his idea, and he's he the retard, it. and it's his idea. Like he came up with this and got with a friend of his, and he even had his parents in the goddamn thing. Yeah. Like, his parents are in one episode, and they're helping him get ready for work. They hand him a bag of oregano and say, now remember, make sure you plant this on somebody, probably a Mexican. And it's just like, what oh, the wow. fuck? <laughs> it was uh, it was so great comedy, like, not no political correctness. No, and, but it no, wasn't no. like, it, they didn't, like, go out of their way to offend anybody. No, it was, it was just goofy it was shit. It was funny as hell. This was, was just really... on the internet, right? Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. YouTube. I, I'll hook you up with the, the playlist, because they're still on YouTube. Mm-hmm. And it's just... If, they're hilarious. I love them. They're the, it's one of like of all the playlists I've encountered on the on the, on the YouTube's. 
it's the only one I actually have saved, so I can access it anytime. And then for a while, there was a video that was blocked. I don't remember why, and it just recently became unblocked. So it, it's really funny. Though. Um, uh, but, uh, yeah, these don't exist anymore, YouTube, so uh, don't go looking for them so you can flag them and take them offline. Yeah, don't be assholes. What's wrong with y'all? Doesn't exist. It's not a thing anymore. Yeah. But it, it yeah no, it was a really funny series. Shut it down. Shut it down. Uh, no. Was Fuck you. Huh? Um, I was actually looking to see if I could find the original channel that the videos were uploaded to. Um, I want to say it's mediocre films. Yeah, it was mediocre films. Yeah. Yeah, it, and it's funny because at the end, like like they go mediocre films, and it's like yay. It's just unenthusiastic. Yay. Yeah. No, it's not <laughs> retarded. It's just yay. Yeah. I like I actually I still follow that channel. Uh, one of the other things they did was uh, fuck. What was the prank? He he. They do pranks and stuff, but not those YouTube typical pranks. Not, not like, the social experiments. Stepping on black guys' shoes in the hood. Not those, ugh, those not like fucking Michael awful. Jordan or put him in a coffin. Yeah, no, no, no. no. It, it's nothing like, yeah, it's nothing like where you just, he, well, they just go up and ra- randomly sexually harass women on the street and film it and think it's yeah. funny. Like, don't be a fucking jackass. No, they would do, they, media, uh, fucking mediocre films, they do prank interviews. So they'll go to VidCon and they'll do things like he keeps accidentally tapping the interviewer ease <laughs> mouth with the mic. <laughs> but now everyone there knows that's what they, they do. So they all kind of like they don't get, obviously, you would expect them to get offended and walk away. They just take it. They just bite just it bite it like the German and, guy on Willy Wonka. <laughs> yeah. Or try and okay, see you how can, You can, can chill resist. away from the microphone a little bit. You don't need to get that close, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to chomp your mic. I'm yeah. just saying. <laughs> but uh, no, it, it's fine. Like, good stuff mm-hmm. all right so anyway yeah super troopers I, that was one of those things like i i saw it years later like it was released in 2001 i don't think i am i don't think i could see it maybe until i was like 19 or 20 and mm-hmm. it's one of those flicks it's so, oh, so funny so many memorable moments you know like like the whole shenanigans scene like that whole scene i quote that scene I so much god i'll pistol whip the next guy that says shenanigans hey uh farmer what was that restaurant you used to like <laughs> What's that restaurant you like with all the goofy shit in the wall and mozzarella sticks? Shenanigans? <laughs> What's that, shenanigans? <laughs> and they hand him the fucking thing like, God damn it, put that away. <laughs> or like the scene where they're watching the Johnny DeChimpo cartoons and they got the German guy sitting there and they're all just smoking weed and watching the cartoon. Yeah. The German guy they arrested. <laughs> yeah, they, they arrested for stealing arrested a Porsche. The yeah, they the took movie. him home to swing. Come yeah, on. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and then no. they, like, Who wants the a mustache thing? ride? <laughs> that was the most random character in that whole movie. Like, I, you know, three, I hope, three scenes. Like, did he go to court? Did they let him go? I don't know. I hope he comes back, though. Hope, oh. I hope he comes back. Like, I hope he's back for this flick. I want to see him in this movie somewhere. Even if it's just a cameo or like a, a side pop up where he just, hello. Mm-hmm. I, I want to see that. I want to see him come back. Uh, I'm just glad they got Jim Gaffigan to come back too. Oh yeah, like they're gonna do. I love that. Like they do the meow thing again. <laughs> it's like, mm-hmm. didn't you do that to me before? It's like <laughs> seventeen years ago. <laughs> you guys, you're the guys who said meow. It's like, and and, and I love the conversation they're having in the trailer because they're like looking across the view. Did we do this to this guy? I don't know. Maybe we do this so much I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, do it again, damn hey, it. You guys we'll are still Mounties laugh. Now? Should I say meowties? <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be good. Okay, I hope so. Anyway, like we'll early, see. I will say I, I didn't like try and look for any. Yeah, me. But I did see here. that some early reviews coming out on IMDb are like fifty five percent. So not great, but I, fuck it. It's I still see early. It anyway. Everybody's stoned, man. I mean, come on. Well, no, I'm hoping stone people go see it. That like review movies. We should. We need to get verified by Just IMDb. Let, let's not take a shower while we're in there, Kevin. Kevin That's, Smith. What the fuck are you talking about? There's some stupid people out there. Don't smoke in the theater. You know, like oh, sprinklers. Come oh, on. okay, yeah. <laughs> Don't. I, okay, I was completely confused. I'm telling now. you, somewhere in this country, some dumbass is going to spark up in a fucking oh, movie theater. Oh, I've, well, no I've actually seen it happen. So, yeah, no. I've I'm not done talking it. vapes. <laughs> I mean, wow. I've done it. Like, no, it, it, yeah, it's going to fucking happen. But, yeah. Um. No, I, whatever. I, I, I always hotbox the car beforehand. We hotboxed one time. <laughs> we go to see this movie, me and my buddies. And uh, we had a girl that lived at one of my friends' okay, house. Okay, so us. now I know it's not the Avengers. Good. No, no, no. This is a long no, time. No, that was. Because you would never get a girl to see the Avengers, I'm just saying. I'm uh, sure you could get some. No, but I, I, I could, I could name at least five girls right now that I could walk up and ask and they'd go see the Avengers yeah. with me. Not on Twitter. But, uh, right. No. In real life. 
Anyway, let's go ahead and break this awkward silence as Luke and <laughs> Matt just have this looking at each other contest. I just don't even know what happened. Like, there was a t- there was a fucking thought process and somewhere where I was taking the conversation, and then Matt opens his mouth, and all the good things in life go I was waiting to hear what you were going to say, man. No, I mean, when you talk, you into speak, each other. and it's like, I don't know where we were. I don't know where I, I am right now. I don't know what Matt's doing. I don't, like, the shower comment completely threw That's me what I'm like, like, what the fuck do you mean you shower? T- all right, I'm going to ignore it and keep going. And then he starts talking again, and I'm just like, well, fuck. We're this going off the fun. rails here. Anyway. <laughs> Um, we were talking about the Avengers and you getting hotboxed. That wasn't at the Avengers, but we hotboxed the car so bad, <laughs> the girl that was in the car with us stepped out and vomited all over the ground. Oh, that's yes. horrible. That is the uh, best And she was box. not smoking. <laughs> Just Did you eat secondary. beforehand? Huh? Uh, I don't remember. Or I guess she probably No, no, no. Did. We hotboxed it so bad that you couldn't see out the windows. She got a second Okay, hand. so it was like right. Cheech and Chong. Okay. Right, She's second hand. We've like, hit about half an hour. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to cut it off there. Um, anyway, it was an awesome movie. It was an awesome movie. You hear that? The girl got sick from being high too much. Well, okay. She stood up and was like, yep, I'm good, and went inside. She was higher than all of us. <laughs> she didn't it's even better smoke. than chugging syrup, which was also in the first movie. It was. Yeah, no, they yeah. they totally sat there in, this, in the opening diner and just... I love that they did that in the first movie, and now we're going to Canada. If the opening scene in this movie isn't them chugging maple syrup, yes. I'm be so disappointed. Yeah, no, no, it needs. To... Uh, all right, guys, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna cut it off there. So we'll be back, and uh, yeah. What's what? What's oh, what? God damn it! I was trying to remember the uh, Dragon Ball. Uh, our Dragon Ball Z, the return from the commercial break. Are we doing spoilers or anything? Because I don't want to start talking yeah, we about will. plot. I mean, we can. I, I, just, I, you know, give people the warning. I so. highly, I, you guys hear that. We're doing spoilers. So, we're back from the movie now. And, you know, it was fine. It was pretty good. It I, was fun. It was funny. Yeah, it was, I mean, better than what I honestly expected. I mean, yeah, like, I, I agree that um, a lot of the reviews that, we, I, I saw beforehand we're saying it's about average mm. I'd say it's about average oh yeah yeah I mean it, it it's definitely that stoner movie and they know who they were targeting yeah I mean come on they released it on 420 and the movie's probably been done for a year <laughs> or something <laughs> it's, it's been done late. for like six months they're like you know what this this is wait because we got a 420 coming up yeah they finished it on 421 last year like fuck we just missed it also if you look at the releases for this weekend there's like nothing <laughs> Yeah, so I they mean, didn't have much competition and no comedy competition either. They released it uh, at a smart time. Probably still won't beat Black Panther though. <laughs> well, though I you know, mean just this week? No, I think it might. I don't know. I, th- I think it has a shot. I think it has a shot. No, guys, seriously. I think A Quiet Place and Black Panther will beat it this weekend. I'm I'm pretty sure that those movies have already beaten it, but it's fine. It's yeah. Okay. Their their Thursday Thursday night totals will be the entire weekend. Yeah, of this for movie. sure, for sure. <laughs> well, I definitely enjoyed it. Um, there were there was there were definitely some amusing moments. Honestly, though, I got to say, I think the most the funniest part of the whole movie to me was uh, the ending credits. <laughs> Yeah, the bloopers and shit. the bloopers. Yeah, I definitely laughed more at the bloopers than the rest of the movie, but the movie was still good. They. Like, uh, when they're not when they're not trying to do the fucking story, that's when it was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, no, the story was dumb. Which I mean, by now we should expect that. Yeah, because I mean, all of their movies, their stories have been dumb, <clears throat> but like in like that wonderful fun way. <laughs> yeah, this one. Uh, it was. <laughs> it was you okay so there, dumb. Luke? I am. I am. I've just my mouth is now Matt, like full. Of are red you sun. okay? No, I'm fine. I'm just. But, you know, in all seriousness, how do you go through an entire movie like that? I mean, plenty of Canada references, Canadian this and that. Where was the fucking maple syrup? Yeah, no, like zero, were, zero out of ten, worst movie ever, no maple syrup chugging like in the first one. <laughs> I mean, they kept a few jokes here and there, but, like, you couldn't chug maple syrup. <laughs> yeah, come on. I mean, you did that as a gag in the very Pro- first production value. I, 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 mean, real- <laughs> I realized something, like, probably why they didn't. Because Vermont is just is much known for maple syrup. So it wouldn't have been like a joke for them. It would have just been a normal thing. 
Yeah, but I mean, you're in Canada now. You gotta do yeah, it. This isn't a joke for them. Like, it's this how is they. It's nationwide. how they connect. It's, it's how Canadians and Vermonties. Vermont is that what they're called? They're called Vermonties. I don't know. I'm making that shit up. I will say though, the I say, idea uh, that the whole plot is about um, the border being redrawn between Canada and America. Like, no, that's not gonna so happen. Dumb. Come on, come on, oh, guys. Man. But, you know, like I said, the plot is supposed to be dumb. We know exactly what this yeah, movie yeah. was supposed to be. Like, we, anybody who goes into this movie expecting AAA comedy and, and top-notch production values, what the fuck is wrong with you? Well, I, I think that if you went into the movie expecting more of the first, you'll get that. Yeah. Except the the things that made the first movie great. Yeah. Just them being doing their thing as cops. They made a bigger deal out of it in this movie. Like, it's a whole, like, it had a, a start and a finish. Like, it was just this segment, and then it's done. Yeah, yeah. In the first movie, it was just, like, what they did. It, I don't know. It, it was, like, their normal daily routine. It made it funnier that way. I kind of, I kind of, deli- like, the parts where, when they decided to go ahead and imitate the Mounties, like, that that whole sequence was stupid. Oh, it's, um, it's, it's funny as fuck. Though. Yeah, like, that was the over best, by a horse. best sequence in the Yeah, movie. I don't get that. Like, I, I wouldn't notice I them that. if they were chasing oh, that me, was like, such full a, speed. That's such a great sight gag, though. <laughs> them, him holding the siren with the light in his hand yeah, as that, they ride up. That was that was pretty good. I uh, I, I liked that stupid. That, that was a stupid gag that was great. If it, Honestly, the kind of it's the kind of thing where if they just did the whole movie, like that, those gags, it probably would have been a lot better. Yeah. If they had to add in the story and try and, like, do something. Like, no, don't do that. Don't just stop it. <laughs> just just do your fucking gags. When they go out and they find the bear and the thing. <laughs> Let's send Rabbit out to fuck it. <laughs> 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 Which, of course, is a nod back to the first movie where they had him fucking the fake bear out in the yes. middle of the woods to distract the local cop. Oh, you know what? I forgot all about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just I kept thinking when he was chasing Farva, like, you know, John Candy and the great outdoors, like, big bear, chase me. Oh, Or yes. I thought they were going to shoot it in the ass and it was going to be bald have or something. Like, I, yeah. I was having yeah. flashbacks on it. Uh, dude, that would have been pretty good, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that whole sequence there where Farva gets trapped in the uh, urinal and he tips it over. <laughs> He's like, all right. <laughs> and they're standing there on the uh, patio with the gun like, all right, which uh, should I shoot? Right, should I shoot him? Which one? Farva or the bear? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's a good idea. <laughs> okay, now I'm shooting. <laughs> no, no, he said he, uh, it, it, Cap says, all right, now shoot Farva. Because <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. he says, <laughs> he, he, makes the, he makes the poop jokes a little too much. <laughs> or the bear, bear jokes, sorry. The shit jokes. Shit bear jokes. What jokes did they play over? Was was there a shenanigans nod? No, no, no I don't think so. They went. To, well, yeah, they, they went, went to, to a restaurant. They went that to wasn't a, shenanigans. It was, uh, um, oh, what did they call fucking it? Fucking chicanery or chicanery? No, yeah. Chicanery. Wait, is that chicanery. is that where he's like, oh, you want a liter of That's cola? When like, the liter of cola you cola have that here? Back, yeah. What well, was it ten? He drank ten liters of cola and got a free dessert. Yeah, I get a free. What was it? A butter yulog or some shit <laughs> like buttered that. Buttered yulog. Like what? And the he, fuck? he was like on nine, and the guy's like, "Well, you have to drink all ten. And he's like, "Are you challenging me? <laughs> like, this will be gone in three seconds." <laughs> just, just Remember, that that gag in particular reminded me of the um, <clears throat> the uh, fucking cornholio thing. Are you fighting me? Are you fighting me? <laughs> yeah, I thought that was, I, that they stressed Farva in this movie more than they did in the first one. Oh, yeah. Way more. He was so much more annoying in this movie. Oh, my God, yes. Like when he's sitting there on the radio and he's just swallowing Eminem's hole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you swallowing Eminem's hole? Yep. Yep. Both Why? Both the same place. Why don't you chew them? The green ones make me horny. What? No. What the fuck? <laughs> Brings like, me horny. What, what is wrong? With, hey, why are but, you but stupid? But then the cache of drugs that they found, like, oh, well, we don't know what these are, so let's each take one and see what it does to us. <laughs> fucking uh, Shoot fucking it. rabbit gets gets hooked on steroids. <laughs> Fucking, uh, uh, whoa, what's his name? I'm way too high for this. Um, Lieutenant or something? Uh, of Thorny. Yeah. God, I couldn't remember his name. Thorny's sitting there, and he's on fucking uh, female sex hormone. What was it, shit. Flova Scotia or something? Flova, Flova Scotia, Scotia, yeah. It was, it was, was, it was so a fe- good. It was, a, it was a female Viagra, basically. Yeah. It's like <laughs> the, the fake commercial. But you know what that reminded me of? They're slaughtering a deer. <laughs> in the, the longest yard. Woods. 
with Kevin Nash yes. when he was taking the estrogen oh, yeah, or whatever, they and he was all us. emotional. And my nipples hurt and all that. And my nipples hurt. <laughs> I'm just trying to make you feel better. <laughs> and he, he made the burritos, and they didn't want them. Like, try to do something nice. And just just throw throws them away. Them away. Just, you have to stop taking them. <laughs> and by the, the end of the, by the end of the fucking uh, movie, his nipples are enlarged and engorged God. and lactating, and that he just so grabs crazy. another bag. I'm like, what is wrong with you, dude? He's like, are you lactating? <laughs> I'm just doing what my body. He says it's supposed to do yeah, some just, shit. Like, okay. Oh my god, man! So uh, many just there were a lot of like, like the movie is good. Um, like I said, story is stupid, so don't expect much from that. Go in expecting to just have a couple laughs. Yeah, yeah. it's not it's not going to win any awards. Nobody's going to be talking about it in a week. Yeah, no, I mean but it's but funny. It's it's a good stoner flick. It's a great stoner flick. Mm. Like, like I said, I mean, the gags at the end of the movie, though, the way they, fucking amazing. The way they find the fucking drugs is, like, almost All exactly. The this is just on leashes. Well, it was even that. I thought the kids being fucking wigged out was funny. Yeah, It no. was stupid, but it was so funny. <laughs> like, <laughs> tell me where you got this shit, and I'll let you play with my taser. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then they, <laughs> they, had them and they put them like on fucking dogs. rope. Yeah, like, man. It's like The Walking name. Dead with Michonne. And yes. Too. Yeah. It's like. I'm like, man, this is an image that could go viral. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cops with children on leashes. Yeah, no, going through woods, no less. Like, come on, dude. It's creepy, but funny. Oh, man, that, that was good, though. Like, uh, and then they get to the thing, they open it up. It's just just boxes of shit. It just of falls into pills. their lap. Later on, they just fucking find it by the side of the road. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, Farva, Farva gets in the squad car to go chase a, chase a dude while they're Im- imitating yeah. the Mounties, and they're trying to keep Farva away because he just he fucks everything up, and he just crashes into a telephone pole, knocks it over, and they, they discover drugs. That, that's where the Germans were. They were in that car. Oh, yeah, that would make sense. There you go. I, I like did kind of think that, but yeah, when the car. I thought that by, was what I, I thought they'd catch him. I thought and that it would was be the be Germans. The yeah. yeah, I know. I, I almost forgot about that. I was hoping yeah. that's what it was because you know that 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 and the maple syrup chugging was one thing I wanted to see again mm-hmm. in this movie, and you know you don't get the maple syrup chugging, and you don't get the German sex couple. Like it's kind of kind of wonder sex. Yeah, it's just kind of terrible. It's disappointing. That now, uh, how many cameos did you guys bags. notice? Uh... There were a couple. I didn't notice that many. Like, I mean, it depends on what you uh, call a cameo. Oh, okay. Well, you know, Linda the, Carter, the original Wonder Woman. That, yeah, yes, I mean thing. that 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 was expected though. She and played the her governor, role. so yeah. Rob yeah. Lowe. That's not a cameo. I mean, well, he straight up played that character. No, no, he, he was, was he was a main character. Though. I was like, yeah, was I was gonna call like I wouldn't oh, call okay, that a cameo. Yeah, Same thing with Will Sasso. Yeah, no, he's a character. I feel like the girl. I've seen her in something, but I couldn't. What the 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 fake French agent or yeah. I mean, she's definitely been in other things. Was she on, like, Friday Night Lights, the I show or something? Just I don't know. I never watched it. I, like you well, said, I like, I think I've later. seen her, but I don't. I mean, yeah. I like, Jim Gaffigan was the only, like, cameo kind of thing. Fred Savage. Came Fred back. Savage. They kept talking about him, like, the incident oh, yeah, that got him the, killed. The, oh, my like, God. What? Stay after the cre- Well, that was that was right at the beginning of the credits. Well, at There's least they showed the it, though. Too. It's not like Hot Tub Time Machine where we're still wondering about the Cincinnati story. And yeah, yeah. yeah. It was I, in the box. I do want to know. Did you see what did, the what Hot Tub Time Machine? Yeah, I didn't like it. I, okay, I heard it was like, bad. I didn't see it yet. Uh, don't don't okay. don't bother with it. It's that bad. I yeah. would have added that to that list earlier, talking about you know sequels in between, but it yeah. wasn't that long. Like you know, this yeah, it was like what four or, or five years or something like that. It wasn't it wasn't yeah. like seventeen, uh, and it just it wasn't it it didn't capture the same like coolness of the original. Yeah, like, I mean, it just no wasn't no funny. John Cusack kind of killed it. Yeah, to me. I mean it was it just wasn't as funny. Okay, I mean it, it it might be one of those things that's worth like. Smoking and getting and maybe watching, a maybe. Yeah. A I mean, I bought for sure. it for the collection. I mean, why not have sequel movies? Yeah. Because eh, some of them suck ass. I mean, I don't. I, 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 I keep myself from doing that. I hate it the first time. Because I, uh, I, I couldn't I, get into it. I buy too many movies that way. Yeah. I don't want to have too many already. I've got fucking. If you ever get like a 90 full. cent rental from Google Play or something, just fucking maybe. use that on it. I just bought um, A Princess Bride in HD on Google after watching that. Andre the Giant. Uh, Documentary on yeah. HBO. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I need to watch it. It's really good. Look that up. I heard it's good. Yeah, I need to sit down and watch it myself. I might do that tonight after Bill Maher. Yeah, Andre the Giants. Fucking man, he's an awesome dude. Yeah, no, I mean that dude was he. He really lives up to his fucking name too, man. Well, yeah, that dude's uh, seven four is what he told people, but uh, um, Vince McMahon was like, he's definitely seven feet. <laughs> we told people uh, a lot of different things. Yeah, he talked about how. Um, 
it, like obviously the internet didn't exist back before even the WWE became a national thing right. when there were still the different wrestling groups all over the country. If you wanted to see wrestling, it was your local wrestlers. And then Andre the Giant was one of the few people who toured around all those different places. So there would be rumors that like he had t- two rows of teeth and two hearts. Oh, like shouldn't. these crazy things that they would tell people. And people were like, oh my God, it's true. We got to go see this. Guy. Yeah. <laughs> it was so funny. That's amazing. Yeah, no, I need to sit down and watch that. Yeah. But no, Super Troopers too, man. There are a lot of lots of great scenes. I mean I mean they all to me, all of like the best stuff was still that one section where they go back to the original type gags. Mm-hmm. The fucking where they're speaking bad French to these people. Oh yeah, no, they're just uh, they're, pretty bad. They're saying Sacre bleu. <laughs> chicken crotan bleu and shit yeah, like that. Like they're they're just throwing out words that were you know, known to be French at some point. Yeah, French ish words. <laughs> like every, Les miserables. every food and company. Les miserables. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it was just it was just it was just inane Coke gibberish. Monsieur? Coke yeah. Madame. <laughs> <laughs> and the fucking the, the gag where they were like happiness in your asshole and <laughs> they were saying it was such a thick accent that, that wasn't what, it like happiness in, in your, your household or something. Ha- yeah, it was happiness in your household, but they but the way they were saying it it was sounding penis like penis in your asshole. A, a penis in your asshole. It's the most important thing to laugh. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, oh my god. So we thought you were saying what is it with you Americans? Everybody wants to fuck you and know you <laughs> No one wants to fuck here. you. <laughs> <laughs> and then they give him a ticket and walk away. <laughs> what did he call it? What did he the party uh, papers? Party papers. Here's party your party papers. papers. Here's Get your party papers. Here. Do you have your hearty party papers? <laughs> and Cannot be in the party place without the party papers. No, no, it's no. It's a Vander Sticks. No, Luke. That, that Luke. Uh, no, you will not stop the Germans. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Tell that to. It's the wrong day for all that. Man. Tell that to I mean, 1945. The right day. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's birthday too. That's why I said it's technically right. the right day. No, it's it's the perfect. Day. That's okay. We'll just get banned in Germany for the rest of our lives. Oh, it's yeah. fine. That's Whatever. Fine. No, but Cody they, won't be able to listen to us. They just started we'll reprinting that book like a year or two ago. So, oh, uh, 2014. Okay, so it's been a few. Yeah, it's been a little while. They made it like twice as thick though, and it was already like <laughs> huge. It's like a Harry Potter book. Yeah. What book? Mein Kampf. Oh. Yeah, they, they it was finally allowed to be circulated. oh distributed in yeah. Germany. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, he was an asshole. So no I, I how still want to see that fucking comedy where it's like Hitler's trying to like integrate into modern modern. modern I watched German that on society. Netflix, but it's Is like it oh, it's it's in German. It's funny. I mean, it's nothing okay. great. See, that's I figured it was just in, like I think it's called He's or Back right? or something like that. It's, okay. Wait, this was an actual thing because I remember. No, I, that yeah, was it's, it's I on was Netflix, not joking. Sir, that's, that's a real movie. It. It's wow. a real movie. Like they got away. I don't uh, know how they got away with. It. Well, they didn't. He didn't have any swastikas, and I guess that's the uh, illegal part. You know what? I honestly can't remember. That's probably but how they, they remove got away it out of it. everything nowadays. Anyway, video games and. Well, that's what I'm saying. Is you yeah, can't that's, have that's a the point. Like, like okay, with it's Wolfenstein, illegal. the New Order, I think mm-hmm. it is. Um, they actually removed Hitler's mustache for the German release. Oh yeah, completely. So it, he just looks like some old white dude. I mean, he looks like an old white dude anyway, because he, yeah. he is an old white dude. But yeah, he just he's he looks hobbly. Oh man, that that scene is really great. I need to play that game. I I still ha- I, I haven't even gotten through the old blood yet. So yeah, I should probably go back and do that. Yeah. It's a good game. Call. Nah, I got a phone call. Um. But you hear that. You hear the buzz? Oh, kind of. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that, uh, that film came out in 2015, it looks like. Wait, uh, uh, so it's an actual thing? Yeah, it's called He's Back. Yeah, I, I watched it. Okay, I remember place. seeing there was a joke about that being a thing. No, 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 no. When I was talking about it, you and Ron were taking it like I was making something up. I'm well, dead. no, no, no. This is before, long before. It's actually you. a German huh. film. And it's all in German. Yeah, I, I know. It's it, it's a it's like a fa, what do they call them? A, a mockumentary. Mockumentary, yeah. Like District Nine was mm-hmm. a mockumentary. Yeah. They just would rock around and straight up tell people like, "Hello, this is a Adolf. He's trying to reintegrate into society. We found him frozen." And there's like this nice old German is like, "Oh, really? <laughs> oh. I did not hear about this." Uh, no, well, of course not. Yeah, but like people on the street come up to him with their camera phones and they start taking selfies and shit. Oh, with I him, love and that. He's like, "What's this? <laughs> what's this? What's this? Das technology?" That was like uh, everything. What's this? Das. There's a guy in uh, China who was in China. And I don't remember if he went, I think he went to Japan for uh, the 
something there, but he dresses up as Kim Jong Il. Awesome. Un, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, it's the younger Kim one, Jong-un. Kim Jong Un, the current president, and he'll walk around the streets like with his hand in the vest, like the Napoleon thing that Kim Jong Un apparently does, <laughs> and Chinese like tourists and Chinese people are like, oh, I gotta get a picture with the with the uh, great leader. Yeah, oh God. <laughs> You know, and funny... he went to he went to the South Korean Olympics. Oh yeah, oh, with the God. guy that looked like Trump, and they got yeah. banned from a certain area or something. Uh, they, I think they got removed from some area. Yeah, but uh, they like took pictures of people. People found it funny. They uh, oh well, what do you yeah. know? Just just they the eagle and swastikas. Yeah, they see him at one point. Uh, apparently, he was right next to the North Korean like cheerleaders walked in front of them and they all like kind of look at each other like what what and then one of the girls is just like no <laughs> so wrong that's terrible oh it's great you know that's cool I guess so, I don't know I, I might have to look that up though like I seriously thought it was a joke though like because mm-hmm. I remember there being like a uh, reddit post about it back in like 2013 14 something like yeah, that maybe that's when they were filming it was it. just jokey it, they, I got the I got the impression it was a joke thing or they got that idea from I mean it's it, that like uh, imagine if X person comes back yeah because they were frozen old you know tried and true thing but that's I mean I wonder if that's where they got the idea from there's a lot of people in history you could pick before Adolf Hitler though I mean, uh, no I think he's one of the top top ten at least of people that you could freak the fuck out with the uh, modern age who's yeah, number he, one though Jesus um, caveman Political just a generic leaders. caveman probably yeah, just, Encino man probably. Encino man exactly dude I'd say Genghis Khan <laughs> would be pretty fucked that up. one at Bill and Ted's excellent adventure yeah that they got they got Genghis Khan got yeah uh, Plato, Plato. <laughs> Jesse, uh, Jesse James? Yeah. Um, uh, Annie Oakley? No, no, no it was jo- Jesse I James. Got, I know they got Joan of Arc. Ch- Joan of Arc, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was so dumb, but it was good. Aren't they like doing the sequel? They very much are. I can't There you wait. go. There's a movie that's like, that's like, what, 25 years in the making yep. or some shit like that? Like, Were it not Keanu Reeves, I would be like, no, fuck off, no. Yeah. But it's Keanu Reeves, so I'm like, yeah, I'm there. And I'm Alex, there Alex Winter's coming back for Fuck it? if I know what his name is. <laughs> That's his name. Okay. I'm fucking telling you, you jackass. All right, fine. The least you could do is remember his name. <laughs> Wait, so this has been confirmed? A third yeah. Bill and Ted? A third Bill and Ted. When's it coming out? Movie? Fuck if we... I don't know. I don't even know if they're filming it. It could be something where they'll randomly, like, cancel it, but... I mean, you know, you got Keanu Reeves. He's probably busy because I know they're doing the John Wick three. Yeah, because they're and building he's good. He yeah. does lots of uh, like smaller stuff and plays. In oh between. yeah, he he does a lot of plays. He does a lot of like indie films. Mm-hmm. He did that one indie film that just crashed and burned. He lived in like an apartment. I remember that he lived in an apartment, and a lot of people were saying the only good part of the movie is where the chicks get naked. And it's like <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot. Well, of Well, that's movies. sad. <laughs> yeah, like, especially eighties movies. <laughs> yeah, well, it's like it's like. And there are tits in this movie, if that's the only thing in it. There, there's a dick, there's, too. There's actually a few dicks. Well, we saw Farva's dick in the first movie, and then there was... We saw know, Max dick in this movie. As he fucking does somersaults. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about when they were at that, uh, whatever... Was that a club? The, the, or? The, the yeah, brothel, the brothel. The brothel strip club? Yeah, apparently brothel bro- brothels are legal club. in Pancake, pancake House. Yes, yeah, everything was a fucking pancake house. You had bait and fish in Pancake House. I love that. <laughs> It's like, yeah, everything was a fucking pancake house, but no, it was something else. It was, I know it was a brothel, and then it was a, like a, I like guess, a, another per, a saloon? Was it a hockey? Yeah, it was something? A, it was a bar? Yeah, it was a strip, it was, it was a brothel and a bar. Hockey, yeah. every other person in that movie wore a hockey jersey. Like I the love, Mounties wore it under their uniform. Yeah. <laughs> I loved that when they run up to those, he runs up to the two hockey dudes in hockey jerseys and fucking slugs the shit out of both of them, and they just look at him like, this, that's it? <laughs> Oh yeah, Mac did that yep. in, in the brothel. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do, man? No, they've been punched in the face a fucking a lot. Yeah, they can take it. It's fine. You know, <laughs> it's, it's like later on though when uh, Farva beats up Rob Lowe. <laughs> That's actually <laughs> that kind of fun. Good. Yeah, that was actually kind of fun. That was, that was like one one Farva's one cool moment because Farva is just annoying as hell. God, they really pushed. Farva being annoyed. And then he cut his fucking toe off. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, he, he so lost the, the, the running bet. the running bet through the whole movie. The background stuff. That only shit he that was in participating yeah. in. It's like loser cuts their toe off. Okay. Loser cuts their toe off and blends it in a smoothie and drinks it toenail and all. Like, oh what is wrong with you, dude? You know he does it though. He fucking totally does it. There's a, there's a little scene at the end of the credits where he drinks his fucking toe uh, toe smoothie. 
Oh my God! And the stupid thing when the governor asked, "What did you do?" And well, what happened to you? He's like, "I, I, I said, he said I, if I told you, I'd have to kill you." And then he gets beat, shit the beat out of him by her retainers or whatever, her bodyguards. Yes. Tased and just, just kicked. Hey, you know what? And we were discussing this on the way back. Cameos, the very, the opening scene, Sean William Scott. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Sean Stifler. William Scott and, uh, and uh, some guy. Uh, one of the Wayans. Yeah. Was that a Wayans? That was a Wayans. I think he said it was a Wayans Jr. Damon, Damon Wayans? No, no, no. It wasn't Damon Wayans. Dame, Damien Wayans? I'm going to have to look it up. Yeah, you got to look that up because I can't remember. Yeah, I guess he kept having the same dream about this opening segment. Like, who who were the cops <laughs> this so time? Dumb. It was Stifler and yeah. Wayans, whatever. There's way too many Wayans brothers for me to keep track of. I always thought there were two. Uh... Aren't there like four? I don't know. I mean, I'm sure they're going to have kids in acting by now. I mean, look at Ice Cube's son, who, I mean, to me, in a couple things I've seen him in, looks like he could be a promising actor. I didn't even know Ice Cube had a son. Yeah, O'Shea Jackson <laughs> Jr. He played him in uh, that Those NWA movie. Kids' movies, too. I think he's going to be oh, in, oh, in the, the new NWA. Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's in a few things. I know the, I mean, that would be cool if he's in the new Friday. I oh, don't yeah. think there needs to be a new Friday. Unpopular opinion, well, I think. I'm, I'm not happy with how that, that ended, honestly. I still need to watch uh, next Friday. Yeah. The first sequel? Yeah. Oh, wow. You've never seen it? No. Okay. I've seen Friday, but I've not seen next Friday. And you so. ain't seen Friday after next? No. Don't watch Friday after next. Okay. I don't like Christmas-themed sequels and good... Like, the third Harold and Kumar, I said fuck that, too. No. No. I saw the first Harold and Kumar. I did not see the second. Oh, dude. Oh, wait, no. The second one was the one with uh, Neil oh. Patrick Harris, right? I think he was in the first one, but they no, they go to Guantanamo Bay in the second. Oh, one. okay. No, that was the. That's the second one. Was it's that Escape the, from oh Guantanamo God. Bay? Oh, that's right. The My third favorite one was scenes Christmas. with the guards where they're yeah. like, "Okay, boys, time for your time cock for your meat, cock sandwich. meat sandwich." Like, what? You what? guys are gay? Hell no! Nah, there ain't nothing gay about getting your dick sucked. You <laughs> guys are the fags for sucking our dicks. Yeah, it was Damon Wayans Jr. <laughs> yeah, Damon Wayans Jr. Yeah, yeah. see, I, yeah. I knew, I thought I heard uh, another one was uh, Clifton Collins Jr., the bus driver. I didn't even think of it. Him. Who who uh, is he? he? Wait, who is was he? In, in right, he's, I know he's like who, I know forever the background character oh, okay. or a side character type thing. Oh, okay. He's one of those actors like he's the kind of oh I know that guy. He was in those eight other movies. Oh. <laughs> he's in like sixteen movies. It's fine. Yeah. Whatever. I was trying to find something where you'd actually like fucking recognize him. From. I mean, yeah, I, I only recognize. I obviously recognize. Oh, he was the Boondock Saints too. He was the uh, Mexican guy. Okay, so anyway, um, fuck you both. I'm that sorry, I, still good. I never saw Boondock Saints. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what else? Gags, uh, shaving the rookie's nuts. Shaving the rookie's nuts. <laughs> he's not a rookie anymore. <laughs> no, he's still a rookie. What was that Canadian? Uh, who who the has movie? the less seniority? <laughs> who has it? Oh God, the fucking uh, bloopers at the end. Oh, the bloopers are great, man. Those were funny. <laughs> the way Will Sasso kept trying to say, you know, the, the line and kept coming out. <laughs> <laughs> just, what the fuck, man? I I think I laughed at that the hardest when he just kept flubbing that line in the middle of the gunfight. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Because everyone, it wasn't even, some of it wasn't even him. It was them fucking breaking. Yeah. Uh, speaking of when they were fighting, I did notice again, I think it was Farva and one of the Mounties, they each put the end of their pistol in the other's mouth and yeah. they return it in circles. Like, yeah, well, why? why would you put your mouth on oh, like, Farva? Fa- yeah. Foster, Foster even looks at it like, what are you guys even doing? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah, like, it, it happens in the movie. They're like, what, why are you doing this thing? It was so good. And it was just dumb as hell. Like, why? But that movie, the movie, was, uh, movie was fun. Yeah, I think. Mean, that's yeah. pretty much all we have to say about it. I mean, that's what a movie needs to be. Are you entertained? There's I some funny moments, some not funny moments. Check it out. A lot of dumb shit. Like, just like our podcast. There's lots of, there's <laughs> some funny moments, just lots of dumb shit. We try to be entertaining. Yeah, sometimes. All right, guys. I think that's uh. Yeah, no, I, I'm winding down, man. Yeah. I'm fucking crashing. <laughs> Check us out. I've been up 20 hours. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> it's a little much. Yeah, a little bit. Rate and subscribe. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, and share, guys. Give Kitty us money. clack that like button. <laughs> so, I, I don't think we have a like button. Kitty clack. Kitty clack. Kitty clack. <laughs> oh, what is... I kind of want to punch Luke right now. Jim Gaffigan. Is, Jim Gaffigan was great. Oh, back yeah, in this. No. I mean, he only showed up for, like, one, one, scene. one scene. He's just his, his character. I don't know. And then they swapped... When they swapped the seats... <laughs> when, 
Well, there's all right. So Jim Gaffigan. Let, let me before we completely sign off here. Jim Gaffigan's in in the driver's seat. They pull him over again. He's like, "Aren't you guys the ones who pulled me over a few years ago?" <laughs> you did said meow. <laughs> you said meow a lot. I guess why are you Mounties are you now? Mounties? Are no, you he's, meounties. <laughs> oh, I guess it's just like meounties. <laughs> <laughs> and then they get there. They have a little conversation. Do we really know who this guy is? You're just fucking with me. I have no idea who. Could he you is. reenact it for us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they get. So they. <laughs> They get in his car. They get. They, they swap the car. He does the little things. Like, oh yeah, I remember no. you. Oh, by the way, never give a stranger your keys. You drive <laughs> off with this car. <laughs> I remembered you the whole time, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that's that's it for us. For the ungodly geeks, I was Joe. I was Luke, and I'm Matt. And you guys have a good day. Bye. Bye.